Welcome and thank you for joining my channel. This is the Nuclear War Simulation How-To video series. We're on to Lesson 3. Each lesson starts basic and it's going to work its way towards more advanced. So we covered basic navigation, single detonations, and placing people. Now we're going to, then we covered um, how to place units and targeting countries. Now we're going to cover some basic attack plans. So let's utilize some of the stuff we did previously. So I'm going to add units. So let's do a unit placement. We're going to do a baseline. And so let's add for Russia. So we're going to add all Russian bases. We're also going to add their anti-ballistic missile system that's around Moscow. Those are these shields right here. These will try to intercept an incoming missiles. And we're going to go ahead and load all nuclear weapons. Now, I'm going to change over to the United States. And let's just go ahead and do all nuclear weapons. I'm not going to load bases because what we're going to practice is targeting a war plan or attack plan utilizing the United States against Russia. So, let's utilize... A ballistic missile sub. This is an Ohio class Trident Delta 5. So I should say this. A couple ways you can do this. In this instance, I'm just going to right click and drag and then left click target. Make sure too when you're setting targets, make sure set location is unchecked and black. Because when you start setting targets, sometimes you can move that sub, and your sub will now be in the middle of a landmass. Now say I don't want to just use one sub. Say I want to use more than one. All you got to do, right-click this other sub right here, come up and left-click, add selected units. Now you have two subs. So we're going to keep it at that for right now. Now, let me move this down here. I can go ahead and uncheck this at this point to free up some monitor space. So if you see this, this will have the units, the delivery system, in this case the Trident missiles, and then the warheads. So this one has eight warheads, MERV to basically multiple uh, independent reentry vehicles. There's two missile types, well technically three. So they have the Whiskey 76, which is 90 kiloton, the Whiskey 88, which is 455 kiloton, and they also have one low yield 6 kiloton weapon. So how do you start setting targets? References, you just point and click, but there's something to keep in mind here. So let's say we want to target some bases. And we're going to target each base with two missiles. Notice here it says height. That's the height it's going to detonate, which will have various effects. One, surface. Then change here. And then I'm going to set to detonate at 300 meters, which for this size warhead will produce probably the largest amount of casualties. So now two warheads are going to target and detonate, one at 300 meters in the air and one at surface. Likewise, we'll do this. This is 300 meters, and then we'll change back over to here, put in zero, and you can tell there that now one thing if you zoom back, you're going to see once you have a missile, it's going to limit the range for the different warheads that are attached to that missile. So once those warheads start breaking off, they're only going to have so much range from the baseline missile rocket or missile, whatever you want to call it. 
So while the Trident can basically target anywhere around the world, I mean, its range is large enough that it's going to hit whatever it needs to. Once you start using the individual missile, it'll be limited. So you'll see what will happen here as I go through these. Let's go through here. Let's do another one. So these other sites, I'm just going to do surface just to keep it simple. One more. Okay, so now it's moved on to the next missile. I've tar used targeting for all eight warheads that's on the initial missile. Now you'll see me zoom back. When you look at the range, it's basically unlimited. You know, there's, you're going to be able to target whatever you need to. So I could take the second missile and target it over St. Petersburg. And we'll do just that. I'm going to do all of them with a surface. And then we'll come through 300 meters and do this one, this one, and this one. So now I'm on to the third missile, and so on and so on. So now you can see where I do manually targeting on my sims. It takes an enormous amount of time. This is just one sub and i've only gotten through two missiles let me go back to one of the high yield ones so i'm going to skip ahead because you don't have to use all of them and i'm going to place this high yield one let's say we're going to target the kremlin with both the surface and air see these are going to be higher yield warheads so their area of effect is going to be larger. And I found that when it comes to warhead size, the higher the yield, the higher the ideal elevation when you detonate. So a 90 kiloton warhead, right around somewhere around 200 meters is going to, to 300 is going to produce the most amount of casualties. If you get into a 500 kiloton, it'll be closer to 500 meters being the ideal height. And as it gets higher, but again, those heights are going to have diminishing returns. So we have these other ones too. So say I'm good with this, which means I haven't actually utilized this other one. Let me, uh, let me go to this other one. So this is the second sub. Let's say... He's going to target here. Let's do very simple here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do some higher yield, higher. Yield. Okay. So now I'm good. I can type in what I want the plan to be. US SBLM. Let me do it correctly. I said it correctly. Did some... Just whatever you want for your attack plan. Very important. Do not click execute. That'll discard that attack plan. Click done. I wish they had named that something else. So now your attack plan is here. So, okay, say you made the attack plan. You're doing something you're like, well, I want to see. What have I targeted already? Because I want to, I want to, you know, target some different stuff with ICBMs, but I want to double up my targets. Left-click attack plans. Take a look at this, and then you can visualize in two ways. This way right here will show you the trajectory. So it'll show you that you've used these two subs, and they're firing at these locations. You can also click that. And then click that, and it'll show you the actual targeted spots. And you can utilize both. So this will give you the trajectory in a general location. The one with the visualize, this one will display the actual impact points. If you have more than one attack plan, so we'll do that real fast. Let's, let's choose... Uh, 
Uh, these don't have the range. Let me find something else. I know. Let's do what I said. Let's say an ICBM. So let's do target. So we're going to utilize an ICBM. And I'm just going to do a single height to keep it simple. Let's say we're going to do this one. And our ICBMs are not MERV, so it's going to be one click, one missile. Okay, say I'm good with that. So I'm going to say US ICBM attack. Then I left click done. So now I'm going to have two on here. So when I click this, it's going to default to show me what's the first one listed. If I left click this one, it'll now show me the second one. So you have to click which attack plan. It will not show both. I've tried to hit control, left click, I've tried, yeah, different things, but you can't show all of them at once, but you gotta left click one or the other, so you can do that. So what does this do? This will actually delay the attack. So say I wanna start the simulation and I want the ICBMs to fire second. So if I put in here 15, these will fire 15 minutes after the simulation starts or whenever I activate the plan. So how do you, these won't automatically activate. So I click out here and I click go. They're not gonna start firing because they haven't been activated yet. So I come back here, left click attack plans. You have different options. You can execute the next plan, which would this be the first plan in case. You can execute all plans or you can left click individually to execute this attack plan. So I'm going to do all plans. Move this side so you can still see it. I'm going to go ahead and click. So the subs are going to fire. And then after 15 minutes has passed in the sim, this will launch too. You see the ballistic missile defense system intercepted some of the incoming missiles. So now this one's, you can see this one grayed out. And this one is a launch now. So you'll see these white lines, and then once the warheads start to break off, you'll see the red triangles, and that's when you know the attack's coming in. So, If you zoom in close, you'll actually hear the explosions. If you're farther out, you won't. But that's how to do a basic attack plan, very basic attack plan. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next lesson.